want to thank Mark Dolomont for attending our next in the FFAW webinar series. Mark is from the Professional Fish Harvester Certification Board, and today he's going to be answering some of our frequently asked questions that we get from harvesters um, about the certification process. And we're really happy to have you here today. Thank you, Mark. Thank you, Elise, for inviting me. Awesome. So could you tell us a little bit about the Pro Professional Fish Harvester Certification Board? Sure. The Professional Fish Harvester Certification Board is the provincial body responsible for the registration and certification of commercial fish harvesters in Newfoundland and Labrador. So it was established in 1997 following the proclamation of the Professional Fish Harvesters Act, a piece of provincial legislation. And it was the first piece of legislation of its kind, actually. And Newfoundland and Labrador was the first jurisdiction in Canada to formally recognize fish harvesting as a professional occupation. So in 1997, uh, the DFO full-time, part-time uh, personal fishing registration system was actually discontinued in this province. And the responsibility for certification was transferred uh, to the PFHCB. So since that time, uh, Newfoundland fish harvesters, both owner operators and crew members have been registered uh, with this board. Uh, the professionalization program itself, including the criteria, uh, which I'll explain a little bit later, uh, were developed in consultation with fish harvesters throughout the province at the time. And this included existing fish harvesters being granted uh, some exemptions to the new criteria based on historical attachment to the fishery. However, since 1997, all new entrants to the fishery have uh, entered under the new current certification system, which includes professional certification as either apprentice, level one or level two. And harvesters now require a combination of education credits and full-time fishing years in order to upgrade to level one and level two. So in short, anyone who participates in the commercial fishery in Newfoundland and Labrador, either as a license holder or as a crew member, should be registered with the PFHCB. Awesome. So uh, I think that we get this question quite a, quite a lot, Mark, and uh, you can certainly speak more to it, but why is this professional certification so important for fish harvesters in this province? That's a really good question, and it's, it's a good thing for fish harvesters uh, to know. Professional certification is important, I believe, for a number of reasons. First of all, it's important simply because it recognizes and accredits the specialized skills and the knowledge and the experience required to be a commercial fish harvester. Obviously, the ability to catch fish is extremely important. However, there are other equally important abilities. For example, the ability to navigate safely and accurately, to survive an accident at sea, to prevent accidents at sea, or to operate, manage a fishing business, to understand the management and sustainability of the ocean's resources, to constantly land a quality product, and the list goes on. So fishing is a skilled trade in every sense of the word, and it's important that fish harvesters be recognized and respected for that. So by setting the qualifying standards for new entrants, professional certification really helps ensure that fish harvesters have the skills and the knowledge required to succeed in what is really an extremely demanding and rapidly changing industry, particularly for young people entering the, uh, the industry today. So it's extremely important because of the linkages between DFO licensing policy in the Newfoundland region and professional certification with the board. And this is a really important point, Elise, because since 1997, in order to receive the transfer of a federal species license or core fishing enterprise, a fish harvester in this province must hold level two certification with the PFHCB. And in order to be designated as a substitute operator, you must hold either a level one or level two certification. So for these reasons, I think we can confidently say that PFHCB certification is really the first step in securing a future in the fishing industry. And through the linkages with DFO mentioned above, PFHCB certification ensures that fish harvesters remain the primary beneficiary of our province's valuable fisheries resources and ensures that our 3,000 or so independent core enterprises remain in the hands of trained level two professional fish harvesters. And in the case of designated operators, as I mentioned, it ensures enterprises are operated by harvesters with minimum levels of experience and training. And I guess one final note is that like any occupation or career, achieving a higher level of professional certification can instill a sense of pride, achievement, and security for those that attain it. Thank you so much, Mark. Um, so I think another question that we get, and certainly you mentioned it, is that 
uh, there's certain levels of certification. So we hear a lot of, well, how do you even get into the fishery or, you know, I'm already in, how am I going to upgrade to these levels? Like, it's really confusing. What is my certification level? In other words, like, what are the criteria to kind of move from a new entrant or an apprentice through level one, level two? And, um, you know, is it, it's, if somebody's wanting to enter the fishery, can they do it? Sure. So let's start, I guess, uh, at the most simple level and move through, I guess, some of the, uh, the criteria themselves. So for someone wishing to enter the fishery for the first time, the process is actually quite simple. So any resident of Newfoundland and Labrador who doesn't hold permanent full-time employment outside the harvesting sector of the industry is eligible to register as a new entrant fish harvester. So they simply complete a new entrant application with this board and they must be sponsored by a vessel owner, aider, uh, owner or operator. New entrants enter as apprentice fish harvesters, as I mentioned before, and in order to register in their second year, they're required to complete a basic safety training course, an MED course. But there are no other mandatory training requirements of this board in order to participate in the fishery as an apprentice crew member. So once you register, you complete your MED course, uh, you can continue to fish as an apprentice fish harvester. However, as you know, many times when people refer to getting into the fishery, uh, they're referring to actually acquiring their own fishing enterprise or species licenses. So due to the linkages with DFO licensing policy that I mentioned earlier, uh, new entrants or existing fish harvesters who want to be either a designated operator or the owner operator of a fishing enterprise must meet the certification criteria to be upgraded to either level one uh, to be a designated operator or level two to be either a designated operator or in that case, an owner operator. So the upgrading criteria includes a combination of full-time fishing years and education credits. New entrants, as I said, enter as an apprentice and an apprentice to upgrade uh, for an, an apprentice to upgrade to level one, they require a minimum of two years of full-time fishing and 60 education credits with a minimum of those education credits uh, being five credits in basic safety or your marine emergency duties MED course. Um, and again, level one is valuable simply because it enables you to be a designated operator of an enterprise. And in order to reach level two certification, harvesters require a minimum of five years total full-time fishing and 120 education credits total. And level two of course is valuable because it enables you to be either a designated operator but more importantly, it enables you to receive the transfer of a core fishing enterprise in this province. Thanks again, Mark. Uh, so you mentioned this in the um, in your certification process, but could you explain more like what the full time fishing year means? Um, because I think some folks get confused about what you know. What do you mean by full time fishing year? Absolutely, uh, uh, important question. Um, a full time fishing year. Uh, is a calendar year in which a certified fish harvester earns a minimum of $3,000 from fishing. And during the fishing season, 75% of their income comes from fishing. So just to, to explain that a little bit more, the fishing season is defined as May 1st to October 1st. And we also grant a 30 day grace period that a harvester can use at any point, any 30 days throughout that period from May 1st to October 1st. So basically during a four month period, 75% of your income must come from the commercial fishery. Before and, before and after the fishing season, harvesters can work and earn income outside the fishing sector without any restriction whatsoever. Uh, so it's important to note that the 75% rule only applies during the fishing season. Okay, so what, so what it seems like maybe can be clarified, uh, Mark, is that you can work outside um, of your kind of fishing enterprise uh, with the fishing season and you can still be considered full-time fishing. Those two can exist. I can work outside and I can still be considered full-time um, harvester. Absolutely. The PFHCB criteria around earnings, uh, the 75% rule that I just explained, is actually quite flexible. The 75% income requirement to receive a year of full-time fishing for the purposes of, of upgrading, as I explained, is only during the fishing season. Outside the fishing season, there's absolutely no restriction on the amount of money that you can earn from non-fishing related employment. However, it's important for fish harvesters to keep their records of employment. So if, if they work in the, in the spring or the fall or the winter, it's important that they keep the records of employment uh, from their non-fishing income in order to demonstrate that the, uh, 
the earnings are made outside the fishing season or to demonstrate that no more than 25% of their non-fishing related earnings are made during the fishing season. So we try to be as flexible as we can to encourage harvesters while fishing during the fishing season to be able to, uh, to supplement their income during the off season by working outside the industry. Awesome. So can you explain a little bit more about the education credits and how, how harvesters can accumulate those uh, education credits in order to upgrade from you know, apprentice level one through level two? Sure, there's uh, several ways uh, to earn credits towards certification upgrading. And uh, for any harvester who's interested in upgrading, we'd be happy you know, to, to work with them to, to explain the options and how they can acquire their credits. So first of all, um, you can acquire credits from past education. So any courses or certificates that a harvester currently has, either fishing or non-fishing related, uh, can be sent to the PFHCB office for assessment and credits will be awarded based on the length and the type uh, of training. For example, many harvesters have completed a variety of trade related courses such as diesel mechanics, uh, millwright, welding, etc. So this type of training will definitely earn credit towards certification upgrading. So if you're interested in upgrading uh, and you have training certificates that you haven't sent to the board, send them along. Uh, and as we say, when in doubt, send everything that you have and we'll let you know how many credits uh, that were awarded towards your certification upgrading. Um, so that's one, if you know, whatever certificates you may have acquired in the past, send them along. Secondly, uh, of course, is to complete uh, training courses, fisheries related training courses or even uh, uh, other training courses as well. So credits can be accumulated by completing short courses like MEDs, first aid courses, radio operator certification, et cetera. Uh, of course, these shorter courses will take much longer and likely cost you more uh, than some of the longer fisheries related programs to accumulate your credits. So many young harvesters pursuing a career in fishing these days are choosing a fishing masters four where you can acquire 80 credits uh, in approximately 12 weeks or so. So that's another consideration. Uh, the Marine Institute offer a variety of, of fisheries related training that harvesters can consider for their upgrading. But also uh, another way to accumulate credits towards certification upgrading is through what's called the Prior Learning Assessment and Recognition Program or PLAR as it's known, offered by the PFHCB. And PLAR is an opportunity for experienced apprentice and level one fish harvesters to acquire education credits for the skills and knowledge that they have already gained through years of hands-on learning. And it gives harvesters an opportunity to demonstrate their prior learned fishing skills uh, and other knowledge through one-on-one -on -one interviews with an assessor. And there are currently 85 credits available uh, through 11 different assessment areas. And I guess the rationale is that if, if a harvester uh, you know, understands, for example, uh, small engine maintenance and repair, why would we send them to school to do a, a course in small engine maintenance when they already have those skills sufficient enough to, to operate their enterprise? So Plyer simply gives, uh, in that case, an opportunity for a harvester to demonstrate those skills and be awarded credit for them. Okay, so you mentioned the Fishing Masters 4. Could you explain a little bit more about Fishing Masters 4 and you know why is it so valuable, especially for young harvesters, to, to get that training? Okay. Um, I'll just explain a little bit about why it's valuable generally and then uh, link it to, to its importance around pro uh, professional certification. So uh, a fishing masters uh, uh, four, uh, which is the entry level fishing masters, there's also a fishing masters three and a fishing masters two and a fishing masters one, but the introductory fishing masters four, it's a Transport Canada nautical certification that allows the holder to operate a fishing vessel up to hundred gross tons. And actually that's soon to be changed under the Transport Canada requirements to allow harvesters to operate vessels up to 24 meters um, or to operate as a mate on a larger fishing vessel that's required by law to carry a certified mate. So actually the, uh, the Marine Personnel Regulations of the Canada Shipping Act now require every single Canadian fishing vessel to be operated by what's called a, a certified master. And for new entrants to the fish rate, any fishing vessel greater than 12 meters uh, or fishing beyond 25 nautical miles from shore must have a certified master with a minimum of a fishing master's four. Now, in terms of professional certification, it's also, as I mentioned earlier, uh, the quickest and also the most economical way to accumulate credits towards PFHCB certification upgrading. 
Uh, it's offered by the Marine Institute, both through community-based as well as online uh, learning. It includes three exams to be written at Transport Canada, uh, one in navigation and safety, uh, one in chart work, uh, and one in ship construction and stability, as well as a final oral exam. Uh, and it also includes a number of shorter courses like your uh, Marine Emergency Duties course, your Radio Operator Certification, First Aid, and, and Simulated Electronic Navigation course. And as I mentioned, it's worth 80 credits towards certification upgrading. So, you know, we like to say that for fish harvesters committed to a career, a long-term career in the fishing industry, either as an owner operator or as a, a crew member in the midshore or the offshore fleets, this fishing master's program is highly recommended. And the Marine Institute actually has seven different fishing master's courses scheduled to take place this winter in communities throughout the province, running from approximately January through March. Um, and as I mentioned, there's also the online delivery option for Fishing Masters 4 as well, which is available for continuous registration uh, throughout the fall and winter. And uh, I'll, I'll give out the number. For more information, uh, you can contact the Marine Institute anytime at uh, 778-0623. And I'm sure they'd be happy to, to answer any questions that people have about uh, registration uh, or the program itself. Awesome. Thanks, Mark. So a lot of folks right now, um, I think due to, you know, we had some pretty bad news in this province recently and, and in Alberta where a lot of folks were, are coming back from uh, in terms of the job availability. And we know that the fish harvesting sector actually is very lucrative and there's a lot of opportunity in fish harvesting in Newfoundland and Labrador for long-term uh, stability and success. So um, a lot of people that are kind of coming back wanting to get back into the fishery. What, what is the process for, for folks that have been away for 10 or 15 years and want to come back in? Yeah, sure. Um, as you mentioned, from time to time, we do hear from fish harvesters who left the fishing industry uh, for an extended period of time and, and let their certification lapse. Those who left the industry to pursue work opportunities elsewhere, for example, and as you indicated, um, you know, this year with COVID-19 causing a downturn in many industries, we've heard from individuals returning home from outside the province who are wondering exactly that about how to get their professional certification back. So this is exactly why the PFHCB has established what we call re-entry criteria uh, to allow these individuals a smooth and, and accelerated return to the fishery and to having their previous certification status reinstated. Um, so what is the re-entry criteria? Um, re-entry criteria um, is for any harvester who's uh, let their certification lapse for more than a two year period and uh, what is referred to as an extended unapproved leave of absence. So if, if, if you've gone for a while, you no longer renewed your, your level one or level two or even your apprentice certification, um, as long as you don't hold permanent full-time employment outside the harvesting se sector, you're eligible to re-enter the fishing industry. And, and once uh, the individual is back fishing on a full-time basis for a minimum of two seasons, they're eligible to have their previous certification status reinstated with no additional training or upgrading requirements. So more specifically, in the case of an individual who previously held level two certification, for example, after two years, um, their level two status will be reinstated with all the benefits that come with it. Uh, and in the case of a former apprentice or level one, after returning to fishing full time for two years, they're eligible to access any previously accumulated uh, fishing years and use those years towards their level two certification upgrading. Some of the criteria, um, you know, it may seem a little rigid, uh, but there's a fair bit of flexibility built in and it, and it certainly rewards those who demonstrate full-time fishing activity and commitment to the industry. And uh, I think it's important uh, to reiterate the importance and the intent of the professional certification criteria as it relates to the DFO licensing policy. I mean, uh, professional certification is really intended to ensure that the ownership and operation of commercial fishing enterprises in this province is limited to those with the appropriate uh, levels of experience and skill and also attachment to the fishing industry. And in doing so, it, it ensures that, that bona fide certified fish harvesters remain the primary beneficiaries of our very valuable fisheries resources. Thanks, Mark. That's certainly something that we want to protect in Newfoundland and Labrador. So how do current fish harvesters or anyone interested in maybe becoming a fish harvester, uh, how do they receive more information about the professional certification and about certification upgrading? Well, 
I'll, I'll start by saying that any fish harvester out there or anybody uh, interested in entering the fishing industry, we would be extremely happy to speak to them about, uh, about their career goals and about their, their, their certification currently or their certification upgrading. Um, and there are many ways to reach the PFHCB and we're always uh, happy to spend as much time as needed to help someone. Um, you know, to, to better understand our criteria, including the general criteria as, as well as the upgrading criteria. Uh, and we can help them sketch out a, a, what we call a, a personal roadmap for anybody who wants to work towards their level one or level two certification. We can also assist uh, uh, not only with the, the certification, certification upgrading, but we get a lot of calls from harvesters uh, who we can assist with other provincial and federal training certification or regulatory requirements. For example, helping harvesters understand their requirements under Federal Transport Canada regulations and supporting them in reaching compliance. And, and as we all know, regulatory compliance is certainly an important part of being a professional fish harvester. So uh, harvesters can, can reach us uh, uh, by phone anytime at 722-8170, um, by email, pfh at pfhcb.com, uh, or come visit us. Uh, between 8.30 and 4.30 any weekday here at 368 Hamilton Avenue at uh, the Richard Cashin Building, uh, first floor. And uh, we're always, as I said, here and willing to help. And we certainly look forward to hearing from any fish harvester who'd, who'd like to speak about certification or certification upgrading. Awesome. Thank you so much, Mark, for taking the time to talk about this really important issue and certainly give harvesters across the province more uh, insight on how the process works and hopefully um, we'll have more people that are going to be knocking on your door giving you a call to start the certification process or start making their way um, through the certification process. So thank, thank you very much. Thank you very much Elise. Hopefully this uh, you know explains the criteria a little bit better for harvesters and what professional certification is all about but certainly as I said anybody who has, has any follow-up questions whatsoever please contact us anytime. We're always here. Awesome. Thank you. You're welcome.